When the Chicago skyline becomes a silhouette at sunset and downtown workers shuffle out of their gleaming loop office towers at the end of the workday, there is another loop. It's all in a closed loop. That is just starting to work. We build ice at night when the strain on the electricity grid is the lowest, prices are lowest. This is perhaps the most important building in Chicago that you've never heard of. Countless people have passed by this building on the Eisenhower Expressway. They immediately know what we're talking about. We just don't know exactly what it is that they're looking at. Without knowing, this is what helps Chicago keep its cool. So you don't see our pipes running everywhere, right? So we are very nondescript in that way. Nondescript, like the building's official name, Centrio Plant Number no. 2 but it's really Chicago's air conditioner. So we're standing in the uh, control room of our plant two, which as you mentioned, is the one most people see uh, coming in on, on Congress. Jim Rylowitz is the vice president of Centrio, a district energy company. Here in Chicago, uh, we serve the downtown area with chilled water for their cooling needs, mainly air conditioning for high rise buildings. Air conditioning is becoming more and more important as climate change impacts our weather. Ice cold water. The nonprofit researcher Climate Central recently released data showing that Chicago summers are getting hotter, with an average of seven additional summer days above normal temperature than the city experienced in 1970. 89 today, hot and humid. Centrio is taking the concept of central air conditioning and applying it to Chicago's central business district. Here's how it works. A network of five plants spread throughout Chicago provides cooling to 115 downtown buildings, including icons like the Board of Trade, the Merchandise Mart, and the Old Main Post Office. Correct. They're all connected to a closed loop of pipes, the largest district cooling system in North America. As far as ice thermal storage, we have uh, the, the largest capacity in the U.S. Um, there are a number of other systems out there, but, but yeah, we, we take the cake. Here at plant number two behind these walls is a massive storage tank, a water cooler measuring more than 100 feet long, 90 feet wide, and 30 feet high. The tank holds what could be called an industrial sized ice maker, 435 miles of tubing and 434 cooling coils. Some large heat exchangers where our refrigerant is chilling down the, uh, the chilled water. We have these machines called chillers. They can chill that chilled water or they can produce super cold glycol. It's like antifreeze. And then that is pumped through tubes that are submerged in a water tank. And on those tubes, ice forms. Centrio makes ice at night when the demand on the electricity grid is at its lowest and the cost is at its cheapest. Which saves cost um, and is more efficient that way. Saving money and space. We take what would be all of those individual air conditioning systems in different buildings and we centralize that production of cooling into fewer spaces. The energy efficient system is called ice thermal storage and is 20 to 30 percent cheaper than standard systems. Ice thermal energy is essentially like any battery. These very loud machines are air compressors. Jeff Bears is the company's director of engineering. We're charging our battery with thermal energy as opposed to electrical energy. Every night, this plant generates enough ice to chill downtown's cooling district in an environmentally friendly way, reducing the use of electricity by harnessing the power of water. So all the pumping for our system is done at the plants. So these pumps are what push the water out and back. The cooling tank has been likened to a giant slushy machine, but the water doesn't ever actually turn to slush. Instead, it's just cold enough to flow without freezing. It's, it's technically not a slush. Uh, it, it is very cold water. Uh, we, we usually are supplying it at about 34 degrees. Uh, but uh, I guess if that's what sticks in people's heads, we'll, we'll work with that. And Chicago will work in comfortable conditions even when the city simmers in the summer. In the South Loop, Mike Lowe, WGN News.